oh, and I got one more stop. So, I'm mad. I went to CVS, right? Because everybody on Twitter, everybody on YouTube, everybody on their blogs talking about CVS is having these great sales. CVS, CVS, I'm like, well, I gotta go take my bus to CVS to find out what's going on. And then I'm gonna get to the other, the Pearl story, because I, I got something to say about this place. So, I went to CVS. So I was on Chicago, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna take the bus west. And I'm going to get off. There's one right at the Blue Line stop on Chicago. So this is like Chicago and Ogden. Okay. So I usually believe in going to the hood for the deals. Yes. Go to not like the most dangerous part of your city you should go. But you should go, you know, further from the center of the city. Because they're not really, you know, stuff is high. And if you can live in the center, center of the city, then you should be the be able to afford these prices. So, I, if it had been another night, I would have probably gone further north. So, maybe I might hit a CVS up this weekend. But, I don't know. Because I'm trying to be sassy and savvy. So, um, I went in there expecting to see something amazing. Not so much. Not so much. So, in there, I saw minimal. I saw... Like, I'm being so realistic. Maybe 10 stickers on stuff. On different things. So, there were some Maybelline foundations. Um, there were some, like, the new XXL, like, mascaras that had stickers on those. But they were, like, $9. So, I wasn't really impressed. This wasn't. And, um... There just wasn't anything that would just make you be like, ooh. Like, people getting all these, like, hip shadows and stuff for $2. Like, I don't know what CVS they're going to do, but they need to. So, if there's someone in Chicago who knows about a great CVS that are doing a deal, I will travel for a deal. You know, this this that's my motto. I travel for a deal. So, since I didn't see anything, I was really tired. I just wanted to get out of there. Really. I, was, I was tired. It's cold out there. So I didn't think of something. Because I was in there. I was just traveling there. Just look. And it was just a really odd setup too. So I got these. Um, these are the Essence of Beauty. Which are like really great brushes. Like people you know, want to talk about MAC and stuff. Which are great. But these are really, really great too. Um, so these are the Crease du Brush Duo. And they're really, really small. And I haven't opened them. So, ooh. Okay. Just fly over there. Okay. So, here we go. They're really, really small. This one's really cute, actually. It's a really short handle, which I think gives you more control. I kind of like that about it. So, it's a really small brush, really small crease brush. I have a large one from Sonia Kashik, which may be back here. No, it's not back here either. Where are my brushes? Oh, here it is. Okay, this is a large crease brush by Sonia Kashik. I really love this brush. I used it today, I think. Yeah, to like blend the color on the top, which is suede by NYX. It's really great. And then it's a little bit bigger one from Essence of Beauty. I really like these. I've seen other people with them. I've heard pretty good things about them. So I'm really excited to use these in the next coming days. So, you guys, I'm all about the deal. I'm all about being savvy and sassy. Um, I spent less than 30 bucks today. I think that's pretty good. Um, so, that's it. Oh, Pearl Story. Okay, so I go in there and I'm looking for the little cups. Because they're great to, like, store stuff in. And if you, like, mix up some special pigments and stuff, I, I'll show that to you in another video. So, I went there and I asked him, you know, one of the guys that worked there. And I think he was a manager now that I think about it later. And if he had little cups. And so he, you know, we go down this aisle, which I'd already been down. And I thought they would be there too, but they weren't. And he took me to another place where they had. The cups are actually a little bit bigger than what I, I wanted, but, you know, 
I figured to support the store. So, um, you know, he was standing there next to me. He was showing me the stuff. He's like, this is what we have left. And I, uh, I was like, I'm really sorry you guys are closing. He's like, yeah, we are too. And I felt so bad because one, you know, the staff there seemed really close knit. Um, they really seemed like they really loved the store. They really loved the community. Loved the people that came in there. It seems to feel like a lot of people knew each other when people were coming in there. And um, and so that too, the economy is crap. And you're not just losing a place that you really love. You're losing your job. So it really sucks. Um, and he said that he just kind of walked away and went to the back office, which is not too far away. And it just felt really bad. So if you guys are in the area, um, and you guys are just looking for, if you're an artist, if you make jewelry, their jewelry section is really still pretty well stocked. Um, just go in there, um, let the staff know that you really appreciate it. Even if it's your first time being in there, um, just say, you know, what a great store it is or was. And just let them know that you have love for them. Um, I felt really bad, and, you know, it, it's hard. It's, it's a bad time to, to lose your job. So, I'd only been in there once, which was my freshman year, which was like three years ago, and I just went there for like a tablet of paper. Um, but I remember the staff being really, really nice and helpful. So, um, I hate to see it go. Um, I'll post the information about the store and the staff. Everything in the store that's left is 50% off. It may go up to 60 toward the end of the days. Um, cause some other stores in the country that are going out of business is 60% off. Um, so that's really it. This was my makeup is art, um, haul. So if you guys really enjoyed it, um, if you're in the Chicagoland area, hit me up. I hope to plan like a girl's day out or something. So let me know what's going on with you guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will get back to you guys really, really soon. I've got a lot of things to talk about. And I'm just really interested in getting to know you guys. And you guys getting to know me. So, thank you so much. And thank you for watching.